Oh, what I say? Here's the water. Let's be perfectly clear on what's happening here. Oh! Okay, so on the 2nd of April I went to go see this show called Broadway Bound and oh my god, it was amazing! I absolutely loved it. I don't know all the people that were in it. It's just a shame. But I knew maybe 10 people. Like, not like I actually know them as in I could have a conversation with them for hours on end. Maybe like small conversation, maybe like one to five minutes at max, you know. And yeah, so I knew like ten people at the max, at the very maximum at least. And like they were all amazing. All the songs, dances that they done were amazing. I like just thinking about it. Like I'm just, I was blown away at the time because I'm like I was not expecting this because you don't know what you're expecting. So when something good happens, you're like. Damn, this is good. What else are you going to be like? So, half the time passed. It was just amazing. I absolutely loved it. It then came like the interval, and I went by myself to the theatre. And the people who knew me were like, damn, you're brave. Like, just because I went to the theatre myself. Like, how am I being brave? Like, it just makes no sense to me. How can you be brave going somewhere by yourself? I mean, I've been walking for two hours just by myself like does that make me brave? I I don't know but like there was an interval for like 15 minutes so I turned on my phone just went through the Twitter then after 10 minutes so I still have time minutes left turned my phone back off put it back in my bag and I was like okay I'll just look stupid for the next five minutes until it starts again but it's happened so the second act one of my friends, aka Little Beige, was in it. And when her one came on, like, I was like, okay, so this is the young people. Okay, I don't see Little Beige, but like, it picked up a little bit, it was getting faster. And then, next thing I know, she is in, and I'm just like, oh, Little Beige! What happened to my voice? Let's try that again. Oh, Little Beige! And then I started to like, well up. Now, I honestly had to look at the ceiling, like, okay, Jay, don't cry, don't cry. And then I had to look back down, and it's like, I just kept on looking at her, which, like, it's just because you know someone that, like, you know someone that well that's in it, you're just like, oh, it's you. And you're just like, damn, damn, round of applause for you all around the world and etc. And, like, it was just amazing seeing somebody you know, like, up there doing that and you just like want to do it as well. It's just mind blowing, amazing. I love it. I loved everybody that was in it because they were all amazing. Like I, the only bad thing I can say about it was that it ended. Like that is about it. But then again, I, I'm not a very critical person. To me it's like, oh my god, this is just all mind blowing. How can people move like this? As far as I know, I just know how to reach for the controller. So. I was like, whoa, you can do that? It, it was absolutely amazing, I loved it. And I honestly cannot remember what all the songs were, which is unfortunate. Because when I was walking home, like I had one of them stuck in my head. And then when I was on the bus, I had Big Blonde, Big Blonde? Yeah, Big Blonde and Beautiful stuck in my head. That's from Hairspray on the bus on my way home, which is funny because that wasn't even in it whatsoever. And then when I got home, I had Lady's Choice in my head, also from Hairspray, which again, was not in it. So Little Beige, if you're watching this, what were the songs that were in it? I need to know this. I know there was 9 to 5, Downtown, You Can't Stop the Beat, uh, da, Singing in the Rain, that's four. That's about all I can remember. Not because it wasn't a good performance, it's just... I can't remember songs that well. And it was absolutely amazing. And I saw her up there, I was like, oh damn, I know that beige. And it was amazing. And I loved it. And if I could, I would go see it again. And yeah, that's pretty much all this is, is me talking about how I went to go see the show, how much I enjoyed it, how a friend of mine was in it, and how I somehow cried. I don't know why. Like, I wasn't like bawling my eyes out or nothing. I was sort of like, okay, I'm well enough here. But again, don't know why I cried, but I did. So, little bitch, you're welcome for those tears. And 
Yeah, if you like this episode of Stop What I Think, then you know what to do. You hit that like button. You can share it if you feel accomplished by something I said, i.e. a little beige. Or just like, I don't know, favorite it, or do some other stuff, or subscribe even, because you're an awesome human being. <laughs>